how I make a short form cooking video. This is an idea that I had because I have to make a short form video for this brand deal today on cheese sauce. So I thought I would run you through it while I make a cheese sauce. Right now, these are the ingredients that I have for cheese sauce. Typically, typically I'll use what's called sodium citrate in the cheese sauce. This is to help the cheese bind so it doesn't break apart. But I'm gonna try something new today baking soda and lemon juice because I want to make it more easily accessible to you guys at home because not everybody has sodium citrate. It is easy to get. You can order this stuff very simply, but not everybody has it. Everybody has lemons. Everybody has baking soda. So I thought I should try this out. If it works, if it works, then I might just end up using this all the time because I always have lemons and baking soda. I mean, yes, I do have a shit ton of this, but you get the point. So you guys don't really see this, but this is how I start. Typically it's an iPad, but I'm just using my phone today. So I can monitor everything. So this is how I could sort of see a clearer picture of what it's gonna look like. This is exactly what's gonna look like on the short form video. Because that screen is so tiny. I mean, imagine standing here and trying to look at that. You can't, it's so small. So this is my setup. It's a Sony FX3. I'm not gonna really go into depth on the whole camera thing. I'm just gonna show you the angles and how I do it. So. First, I set up my straight up angle, and then from there, we'll play around. First, just a little bit of coffee time to start my day. I've been trying to lay off the caffeine because I get panic attacks, and those are no fun. I used to be a barista, so I used to be able to drink so much coffee. I don't know what happened. Let's see if my latte art's still good, you guys. Okay, decent. Now, I can start. I used to be a barista and I used to love working the barista shifts. Okay, first things first, I don't do the intro typically first. I'm gonna go chronological order though. If you don't have sodium citrate, which probably you don't, If you don't have this, which you probably don't have sodium citrate, use this, lemons and baking soda. That right there is what I call a talking head. And by the way, um, this is like the microphone that I use. I clip it on here. This is the mic for you guys right here. Wireless mics, I use these so much. Another issue that can happen is you forget to press record which I just did, so I need to reshoot. Gladly I wasn't cooking anything and I was just talking. If you don't have sodium citrate, which come on, you probably don't. Use baking soda and lemons. There we go, I got my shot. So this is the part of the cheese sauce where I add the sodium citrate into the pot. You'll see. Lemon juice. Baking soda. Milk in. Milk in. Now I just need to bring the milk up to a simmer before I can add in the cheese. So this is the part where we just wait by the camera, maybe turn it off, hang out and it's just waiting. This, there's a lot of waiting in this stuff. Like I'll just, that's why um, before, when I was really pumping out the videos with uh, Michael, you might've seen him, my old filmer, we were doing like four or five things at a time. I'd be cooking one thing, all right, all right, let it go. Let's start another video. But I can't really do that alone, it's a lot. It's a lot to do that alone. So this is it, this is fine though. I get to kind of just chill and it's a zen kind of process bring to a simmer. Cheddar cheese in. Cover. Cheese sauce needs to be covered and just let it melt for like five-ish minutes before I blend it. Wagyu flap steak. Wagyu flap steak.
So here's a prime example of doing something while something else is going on. I've got that cheese sauce working, now I'm working the steak. I'm getting another talking head area, and now I'm gonna get a closer up shot. So I just changed from my big boy lens, this is a wider angle lens, to this guy, which is gonna allow me to get those beauty shots that you are used to seeing on my pet on my page. Okay, so I'm doing the steak over here because I got the hood vent and I don't want smoke and all that stuff. So I would use this only when I really want that nice beauty shot in front of the camera. So I do use an induction burner, sometimes a little gas camping burner. So these are your best friend when you're making cooking videos. Not all the time. Don't be afraid to go to your stove. It's okay if it doesn't look that pretty. At the end of the day, use what works. Blend. So right now this is what's called figuring out the hero shot because this is going to be like basically the intro for the video. Gluten free cheese sauce. Pickled onions. Cilantro. There it is. Um, this is a brand deal I'm doing with, uh, I don't know if I could say the brand yet, but it's a protein chip and it's a hack on nachos for the Super Bowl. So you'll see this coming up on my shorts probably on Super Bowl time. <laughs> 